Seven feet. I also found that what the white man of the South practiced as all right for himself, he assumed to be unthinkable in white women. They could and did fall in love with the pretty mulatto and quadroon girls, as well as the black ones, but they professed an inability to imagine white women doing the same thing with Negro and mulatto men. Whenever they did so and were found out, the cry of rape was raised and the lowest element of the white South was turned loose to wreak its fiendish cruelty on those too weak to help themselves. Nobody in this section believes the old threadbare lie that Negro men assault white women. If Southern white men are not more careful, they will overreach themselves and a conclusion will be reached which will be very damaging to the moral reputation of their women. But Thomas Moss, Calvin McDowell, and Will Stewart had committed no crime against white women. Let me give you thanks for your faithful paper on the lynch abomination now generally practiced against colored people in the South. There has been no word equal to it. I think it was a dastardly thing to hang those men as if they were criminals and put them in a holes in the ground just as if they'd been dead dogs. And if it's treason for me to think and say so, then you will have to make the most of it. Ah!